Okay, so how long does this take? You know, you guys, if, 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 if I jaywalk across the street, you'll slap me in cuffs in two seconds flat. Why can't you guys do your job? Why can't you do your job? I did do my job. No, no, you didn't. You're the captain. Why didn't you suspend me? Hey, he's explaining to you. You're the captain. Okay, he's explaining to you internal affairs. If you have any further questions, contact internal affairs. What are you talking about? Who's the, who's the boss here? Internal affairs. Wait, are you the boss? Or is internal affairs the boss? You need to contact internal affairs with a question about your employees. Who makes the schedule? Who makes the schedule? Schedule. For the police, who makes the schedule? Why isn't he suspended? Why didn't they call me and say, Mr. DeCastro, listen, we reviewed your video on YouTube. We clearly saw that he violated policy. He's been suspended for a day without pay. Great, thank you. What would happen to you if you didn't follow policy at your job? Anybody chime in, let me know. What would happen to you? Just tell me right here in the comments. What would happen to you if you didn't follow policy at your job? You're a new one. You're a new one. This is this is a uh, officer Mays or Sergeant Hayes? Sergeant Mays? Are you afraid of the camera, sir? What? Are you okay? You breathing okay? So just so you know, are you sucking in air? You all right? You need medical attention? Do you need medical attention? Do you need medical attention? It seems like the cat died or something. Can you, can you identify yourself? Can you identify yourself? I'm asking you a question. It's your policy to identify yourself. I just asked you three times now. So for the fourth time, what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? Kept me in the 6539. Kept me in the 6539. And he was talking, that's why I was waiting. Okay, well, Captain Hayes, I was talking to you. I'm a member of the public. I'm here to, I'm asking you why now, and here's what I'm doing. You wanna talk first? I'll let you talk first. If you can tell, I'm not real happy. What's going on? Well, this is the third time I've been here. Okay. Why am I here three times? I don't know. Why haven't I got a phone call with this officer's name and badge number so I can file a FOIA? And why haven't you called me and say, you know what? You don't gotta file a FOIA. He's been suspended for a day without pay for breaking our policy. Why hasn't that happened? That's not up to me. Well, so, is it up to you? So as no. as you remember, as you remember, we did give you the complaint form. I filled it out, I brought it back. And we actually did forward the complaint as you requested okay. to our internal affairs department. Internal affairs? Yes. There's a video on YouTube that's got 10,000 views. Correct. That shows that he violated policy. I went to the courthouse yesterday to the courthouse and they said they're policy enforcers. Enforce your policy. Just send me an email. He's been suspended for a day. Here's his name and badge number. And now you can, you can go ahead and relax because we are cleaning up our own backyard. There, there are thousands and thousands of people who are sick of this. I come here. You seem like a really nice guy to my face. I come here. He can't even speak. He can't even get a word out because he can't be on camera because he's terrified that transparency is going to expose him. That's the truth. Sir, honestly, if we didn't want to speak to you, we wouldn't, but we wanted to speak to you. Okay. You, know, no, it's, you don't want to speak to me. It's your job to speak to me. Your job is to address the public. That's your job. <laughs> we came out to speak to you. Yeah. This yeah. is a substation which closes at 4 p.m. Okay. Okay. So after hours, we came and spoke to you. So, we so I should thank you for that? We don't have to, but we did. Don't you okay. pull me over at all times of night? You pull me over all times of day? Don't you come in and enforce your policies on me 24 hours a day, seven days a week? but you can't answer the questions of the public. There's thousands of people who want to know what happened with this. But I think I think the point is, we provided you the complaint form. I've turned it in. And we actually forwarded that complaint form to our internal affairs department. It's in their hands at this point. Okay, so how long does this take? You know, you guys, if, 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 if I jaywalk across the street, you'll slap me in cuffs in two seconds flat. Why can't you guys do your job? Why can't you do your job? I did do my job. No, no, you didn't. You're the captain. Why didn't you suspend me? Like he's explaining to you. You're the captain. Okay, he's explaining to you internal affairs. If you have any further questions, contact internal affairs. What are you talking about? Who's the who's the boss here? Internal affairs. Wait, are you the boss, or is internal affairs the boss? You need to contact internal affairs with questions about your complaint. Who makes the schedule? Who makes the schedule? Schedule for what? For the police. Who makes the schedule? There's a scheduling process. You're Captain Mays, he wouldn't identify his name and badge number. I did. You did? Yeah. I'll, I'll watch it back and okay. I'll, okay. So well, you're the captain. You so you just so, told me you're the captain. So if, if you're looking for, I'm looking for a suspension well, you for a day without pay. Affairs, and like so I'm getting suspended. jerked around. Now I got to go to internal affairs. I've been down here three times. Well, no, you have to go to internal affairs because they have your complaint. I don't understand what you're asking us. What I'm, okay, let, let, me, let me be crystal clear for you in case I'm not speaking clear enough for you. Okay. You're the captain. 
Right. Okay. Have you, haven't you ever seen the Tom Hanks movie? I'm the captain now. And he puts the gun to his head and he's the captain now. You got the gun, you got the gun to my head. You've claimed authority over my constitutional rights. You created policy. Your cops are enforcing policy on me at the courthouse. Your cops are enforcing policy on me everywhere I go. Your cop broke your policies. You're the captain. I don't need an internal affairs investigation. It's on video. All you have to do is go there and say, I saw you didn't identify yourself. You're suspended for a day. And then I'm not down here upset with you. And I have a right to be upset. I'm a law abiding citizen. I have no assault record. I got no rape record. I got no, I have no record at all. I got a shoplifting record from 18 years old. 18, we thought we'd shoplift a bunch of stuff and I got caught. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, is if I'm gonna follow the social contract, then I expect you to uphold the social contract. Okay. I, it makes me so upset that I have to come down here. Gepard, you seem like a really nice guy. And, and nothing's going on. You're not getting anything accomplished. I've done my part of it. It's gone to our internal affairs. There's a process. That's all I can tell you. And I would, I'm sure if you would call down to internal affairs, somebody would be happy to speak with you about okay. it. Okay, who's, who's in charge of this station? Who's in charge? Who's the man in charge? Who's the number one guy here? Who is it? You guys can't answer that? Our major, and he's not here right now. Okay, so the major's in charge. The That's major's right. in charge of this place. Is that what you're telling That's me? Right. This is right. So, so you're the captain? I'm one of the okay. captains. So you're just one of the captains. They have multiple captains. How many captains are here? Oh. Right now, as we speak. How many captains total? How many, I, I mean, how many captains? What part of the day? There could be five oh, or six. There could be five or six captains. So what that does is it allows them to just shift the blame. This guy didn't do it. This guy didn't do it. This Now it's in internal affairs. And now I gotta, now I gotta chase down internal affairs, which from the Mullen Commission, the Knapp Commission, the Seabury Commission, and the Wickersham Commission, all four police commissions say that internal affairs is inept, that they're inconclusive, that they defund or they don't follow through on any investigation. So now you're telling me I gotta chase down an organization that historically, over 12 years of study on policing has said that internal affairs is a farce. And now you're telling me to call the same organization that all four police commissions have said is completely inept. Do you know what inept means? Do you know what it means? Do you know what it means, sir? Do you know what inept means? You have a question about your complaint? I just asked you three times if you know what inept means. You you're, 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 supposed you're supposed to, you're supposed to, sir. Do you have a question about your complaint? Do you have a question about your complaint? Oh. And you guys wonder why I get so. You guys wonder why there's so many people sending me their videos because guys like this. You, I'm asking. I'm, I'm trying to have a dialogue with you, and I'm well, see, I'm teaming pissed off, bro. Okay, that's fine. And I, and I'm not going to attack a guy with a gun. Okay, I'm allowed to be pissed off. You want to contact Internal Affairs? I want you to tell me he's suspended for a day without pay. Internal Affairs. You you kick the can down the road again. No, you guys you kick the can down the road. Once you follow the plate, it goes to Internal Affairs. We have no we'll say it. You, you decided that action by following that. So we have to follow policy. And follow policy? Your policy is to identify yourself. Your I cop identify myself. Okay, Mr. Mr. Hayes, maybe you did, okay? But your cop on camera that 10,000 people have seen did not identify himself. Why is it so hard? It should be a simple, here, here's the violation of policy, here's the punishment. Here's the violation of policy, here's the punishment. Why do I have to come down here like this? And I'm not gonna stop, by the way. You, you, know, you know what I'm actually doing? You know what I'm actually doing? Can I tell you, Gepper? Because I actually like Gepper. I mean, I know he's a tyrant. I understand that. But I still like him as a person. If he wasn't a, a, didn't sign up to do this nonsense, we'd probably be buddies. But I'm, what I'm proving here is that you guys cannot police yourselves on the smallest of things. That's what I'm here doing. Because let me, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. You've had, you've had jobs where you're not the boss before, correct? No. Okay, so you have jobs where you are the boss. You most of the time. Work for you? Mostly every job I've ever had. Okay. No, then back in the day when I was young, I worked for other people. Okay, so wherever there's a job, you have a chain of command, you could call it. Okay, there's. Yeah, you use the chain of command in sales if, to help yourself out. Okay, if you're the boss of whatever business you have, okay, mm -hmm. you have employees, okay, mm -hmm. there's a process for doing things, right? Okay. Uh, let's say you have somebody that works under you and then you have other people that work under them. Okay, okay. there's a process. Those people that are, say, let's just say the bottom rung, okay? Okay. So those people, when they have their initial complaint, who would they bring to directly to you or would they bring to okay. whoever their supervisor is? No one told me it went to internal affairs. Who's the internal affairs officer that I talked to? Has the internal affairs officer seen my video? Can I send him, can I send him the video? Uh, they have seen your video. They've seen it? Yes. Okay, so then why didn't I get a phone call or an email that he's been suspended for a day without pay? I'm not looking for him to get fired. He just messed up. He made a mistake. He decided to put his ego in front of his badge. 
And instead of actually following through and saying, my badge number is la la la, and my name is this, and I would have said, you know what? Have a nice day. Because there has to be police at some level. There can't be no police. There has to be some police. Now, not in this form of authoritarian, brutalizing, murdering, but there has to be some police. We need a third party over you guys for checks and balances. That's what I'm doing here. I'm literally proving that the smallest of thing can't be handled. You guys have to pass it around. And how much money is it costing now? So it went to you, it went to him, and now it goes into, and how much money are we spending here? I couldn't tell you. How much money? How much money is it? I can't tell you if you call the internal affairs. Oh, now I got to so call a random talk. number and just chase it down. There's no, no one said, here's the case number for your case. Why haven't I got his name and number? If you know who he is by this point, do you know who the guy is? Do you know who the guy is? Do you know who that guy is? Uh, no, I don't. You don't? So none of you guys know who he is. So this is the fourth cop who has no idea who the guy who works in this department, they don't know who he is. Nobody knows who he is. He's a phantom. Is that what you expect me to believe? You, is that what you expect the thousands you and thousands of people? You were talking about but, I don't. You know, I, I don't know what you're talking about, what particular officer. There are plenty of officers in I brought the picture. You know, I should have I, I should have seen it. So it's it, at internal affairs. I mean, I'm trying to direct you to where you need to go. Internal affairs. No one called me. No one no one sent me an email. You guys have my contact information. I've never hid my name. I've never not identified myself. I've been on the record. And the first couple times I came down, Gepard, I was pretty jovial, wasn't I? I was a pretty likable guy, right? And now I'm a little bit upset, right? Because no one told me it went to internal so, affairs. Who do I contact in internal affairs? How did the public know what happens to the cop who broke policy? Because if I break policy, you're going to put me in a dungeon. I'll tell you what. Leave me your phone number. I will call internal affairs, and I will call you back. I can't say I don't know. I get so many phone calls. I have to say that happens. I got no more people following up for you and seeing where it is in the process. OK. Can you read that? Hopefully, you can read it. Is that a 4 or 4? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Geppert's got the ball. Mr. Geppert here has said, "Is that my name, Mr. Geppert?" Geppert. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. What's your name? My last name is De Castro. I've called De Castrated. You name it. I've been called every single name. But I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset that I had to drive over here to get. That no one called me. No one emailed me. Why don't have? I want to FOIA his, his, body camera. I want to know what he said when he was ignoring me and got in the car and sat in the car, I knocked on his window and I said, hey, it, it's not a crime to knock, knock on a door. It's not a crime to knock on a window of a car. I wanna know what he was saying when I knocked on his window. I want the public to hear it. I understand that. And I have no problem following up and finding out where it You're, is. So I will follow get up. Part has I, a, get part. I will call internal get, affairs. Get part. And once you're in contact with them, that's who you'll need to deal with going forward on, on the issue. Okay. Because here, here's the deal. We have stations all over the state. We have people all over the state. I don't know everybody that works for us. I just simply, nobody can. So I put a picture up here. I was going to fly her the entire parking lot. Is that what it has to take to get his name and badge number? They have his picture. I mean, so what do I have to that's, do? That's why it's going there, so they can find out who it is. See, the idea of you guys identifying yourself is so that we don't have a secret police force like right. they do in Brookside, I Alabama. Understand. I understand. That's the point. And we don't have that here. But okay. It's, it seems like it. I simply didn't recognize the guy. Uh, listen, Gephardt, for some reason, I believe Gephardt, just because I want to wrestle him. <laughs> I'll tell you what would help, though. Where, where, where were you when this happened? It was right by the, right by the Capitol building. Right, right, by, right, right by the Capitol. Well, there you go. Then we can easily find out. Okay. You know, and I've been talking to cops, and I've been asking them, have you ever been putting handcuffs? Yeah, for training. For training. But have you ever put your handcuffs behind your back, super tight, for 10 minutes? No. Yeah, no, not 10 minutes, probably. No, not, not 10 minutes. But super tight behind our best, absolutely. Sure, for a minute. Is it, is it immediate pain? Is it immediate torture? Is it immediate? No, no. Tell the truth, Gepper. No, no, no. Then let's do it now. Oh, yeah. Then let's do it now. You got a guy here with a gun, I'm not going to say Let's do it now. Let's put you let's put you in cuffs for five minutes right now. Let's show the public that you're not a coward. Uh, you already know that's not going to happen. Let's just say it. Let's just do it. Five minutes right now in handcuffs. Because <laughs> because it's putting you in cuffs humiliating. Uh, it's not humiliating. Is it humiliating? It's not safe. Period. It's not safe. Period. When I'm in uniform, absolutely. So then the line that you say I'm putting you in cuffs for your safety and mine is a BS line. I'm not safe when you put me in handcuffs, am I? I'm not safe sometimes if you're not, depending on who you are and how you're acting. So and your safety is more important than my safety. Your life's worth more than mine. I didn't say that. Is that what you're telling me? You said that. No, no, but you just said, you're not safe if I'm not in handcuffs? I didn't say that. I said, depending on the situation, that might be the case. And I'd say that pretty much anybody would agree with that. Oh, anybody would agree with it. Yeah. You think everybody agrees that you, I should be handcuffed like I'm a pig? 
if somebody was attacking your family or, or you and you and you, let's say, and I know you're good at defending yourself, but let's say there's five of them, would you want those people to be put in handcuffs to keep them from hurting you and your family? No, I don't want people put in handcuffs. Okay. I want a new way of, of detainment, and I want to do digital detainment. Where I walk up and you say, "Do you agree to stand in this area and not attack me?" I put my face in your camera and I go, "Yes, I agree not to attack you, and I'll stay in this area." I don't want you to have dominion over me. Do you know what dominion means? I do. What does it mean? Rule over somebody. Absolute rule, absolute domination. And that's why we have laws. We don't have absolute domination. Yes, you do. Those cuffs are torture, and you have absolute dominion over me. I can't even pick my own nose. I can't scratch my face. And none of your cops will go and handle. Let's do it. Let's do a seminar. Let's do it. There's thousands of people watching. Why don't you agree to it, Captain? I'll come down here when people are not in uniform. I'll do the 10-minute handcuff challenge with you guys. Let's put everybody in handcuffs for 10 minutes so you realize they're absolute torture. And maybe, just maybe, the Arizona Highway Patrol gets on board. You know what? There's a better way to do this without me. Because you put me in cuffs for five minutes and I don't know you, I hate you forever. Why do you think I hate cops so much? Why do you think I have no respect for cops? Why do you think? Because of the personal experience you had. Because before this camera phone, you guys would be afraid of me and you would put me in handcuffs and torture me, maybe for 30 minutes, tight. It happened to Philip Turner, Bat Batasap, who, uh, Turner versus Driver, he's the one that passed the, the, the new rules for detainment. But none of you guys would be put in handcuffs for 10 minutes. No one would agree to it. Why don't we set it up? I mean, Geppert, you're famous, bro. Everybody knows who you are. You look like me. Everybody knows who you are. Why don't you set it up, Geppert? Set it up. I'm dead, I'm not kidding. This isn't a stunt. I'm dead serious. I don't have authority to set it up. I'll raise funds for charity. I'll raise funds. I have thousands of people. I'll raise funds for charity. And we'll do it for the Boys and Girls Club of America. That way we both agree that you know what? We're not giving it to Back the Blue. I'm not giving it to victims of police brutality. We'll give the money to the Boys and Girls Club of America. And I'll set up a day and I'll film it. And there will be 100,000 people watching. That many people will watch. Because everybody's sick of these torture cuffs. Everybody. There was a guy yesterday in Northern California. They came in and arrested him. He can't remember a lot of it. He remembers the torture though. He remembers how bad the cuffs hurt. The one resounding message in his head was how bad I was hurting when I was in cuffs. Why don't we do it, Gepper? Come on, bro. I mean, I'm serious, dude. Uh, aside from me I, not liking the way you I will agree to continue the conversation with you about it. Do I have your number? Do I have a way to reach you? Do I have your business card? Well, you've reached me here a couple times. Give me your business card so I can actually I, email you. I will get you my business card. Write down your email address. I don't have it in my pocket. I'll have to go. You got a pen and paper. I'll wait. I'll get you, I'll get you my business You've got my phone number on a piece of paper. Give me your email on a piece of paper. I won't, I tell you what, I will not put it out for the public. I will not, I'm a man of my word, brother. I don't break my word, man. I don't break the law and I don't break my word. You give me your email address, I'll email you back and forth. I'll show screenshots of the email to the people. I will not release your email address to the public. You have my word as a man. And as you know, man, I'm about being a man. I'm about being a real man. And the idea that you have dominion over me with handcuffs just makes me sick. There's my email right there. Can you read that? I got you. Right. Can't show this to you guys. I'm really sorry. I gave the man my word. I won't break it. So, but I will email him and I'll take a screenshot and I'll show everybody. Let's do a 10 minute handcuff challenge, Gepper. I, I will do, agree to have that conversation. Yeah, but you like me. You like me. I know you do. I know you do. I like you too. I, 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 I like it that you're being respectful and, 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 and you're, you're, you're not being hothead and you're-, you're Oh, no, I'm, I'm pissed, bro. I can tell you're pissed. I'm pissed. I, I can tell. I'm pissed. pissed. And I appreciate. I appreciate. I'm not going to. I'm not going to attack someone with my fist because you. I'm mad, though. I get it. <laughs> I've been cheated before. I'm not going to. I'm not going to break the law, dude. Do you understand that? I get you. I'm for rule yeah. of law, and I got no problem continuing that conversation with you. Yeah. There's your free pass. There's your pass, brother. There's your pass. You can get out of here now. I got no problem continuing that conversation with you. Okay. Yeah. He's got. He does have responsibility. Well, his responsibility is to suspend that cop who didn't give me his name and badge. No, that's, that person is not in his chain of command, or he would recognize it. Does that make sense? There's, he had, that person will have a captain. Okay, why is this taking so long, dude? If if any of you guys break policy at work, what happens? If I break policy and I, like you said, I don't work for people anymore, but no, it's not true. I, I work for my investor, Jeff Lloyd, my investor in LA. I have to do what Jeff says. If I don't do what I says, he doesn't give me any money for the production, right? So I do have a boss. Just, I, just like there's a legal process, there's also a process for us when we get, and, and there's plenty of our police officers that we fired. Can if I break policy, find it on, on there's plenty of, Google. give me a list, give me, where do I look to find Google. out what the fire cops are? Right so I have to Google it? Where, 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 is there a website we can see all the fire cops for, for breaking their oath? 
here's been plenty of use, it's usually a news release. So, so I have to look up news releases? There's, there's been plenty. So we, we do release our own. You do? We absolutely do. Dude, I'm going to email you and I'm going to say, I want to do a 10 minute handcuff challenge. I'll raise money for charity. I'll raise $10,000. I will, I will continue the conversation. $10,000. I can't, I, can't I, can't and I can't agree to that without, without chain of command approval, but I will continue the conversation. Let's show what, let's show what handcuffs do to people. Let's show what they actually do. I put my cousin for 10 minutes. I didn't even really touch her. And after a few minutes, I grabbed her arms and started moving her arms around with the, in the, in the wrist. And boy, she lit up. She was like, this hurts. So now you're going to follow up. I thought you were ducking out dog. No, I, I will do. Oh, here's the uh, we give you information that you want. Are you coming in the conversation? Okay. Is that what you're doing? You coming, somebody, coming to lay the law down, Captain? Coming to tell me how it is? Is somebody, that what it is? Somebody will be in contact with you. Oh, so that's it? You can go now? You're dismissed? You're dismissed. No, you're you're dismissed. You're, you're dismissed. Don't come tell me I'm dismissed. No, no, you're dismissed. I'm talking to Gepper. I'm having an interaction with the officer who speaks. Oh, now he's going to tell you you can't talk to me? Are you going to pull rank like that? You have the machine. Oh, I see. So now you're the boss. You're the boss. Got you. You're the boss. Oh, this conversation's over now. What does that sound like? A boomer. It sounds like a boomer. Dude, you're a coward. You know that? You're a tyrant. Disgusting. Disgusting. No, no, listen. You deal with the public. Dude, you're a tyrant. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a nice day. Coward. I will, as I said, I will follow up for you and I will get back to you. Your hand shaking? Your hand shaking? I'll bet your hands are shaking. My hands shake. I understand how it is. My hands shake. I get it. My hands shake all the time. I get it. You see, when you challenge another man, when a man challenges you, you get hands get a little shaky. Are you, uh, are you, are you pulling your dog off? Is that what you're doing? You say, come on, dog. Time to go back to work. Do something else. This man's complaint's been filed, we're done here. Is that what you're doing? You're gonna be famous, you know that? You're gonna be famous. You can't excuse us, we're having a man-to-man -man conversation here. No, there's no cowards allowed here. This is a man-to-man -man conversation. Oh, are you asking a question? Oh, oh no, no, are you checking no, out, dog? No, no, it's just, oh, we have to have stuff we have to do. Oh, you do like what? What's more important, what's more important than the public who's pissed off? Or we give you the information who you need. I was talking to Gepard about setting up the 10 minute handcuff challenge. Why are you interrupting? We're about to be done here. Okay. You, you just come here to be the boss, to be the captain. Now you're the captain, but you don't suspend the guy who 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 who, who didn't follow your policy. Right. Let's 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 step out of here. Am I dismissed now, Mr. Mr. Mitt? Am, am I dismissed? Okay. Gotcha. I'm in I, I did open the door. We are closed. The, the building is closed. It's just a substation. It's not like a it's not we don't have any public services. Yeah, but your job is to serve the public. I understand, which is why I let you in and talk to you. Yeah. But it is after hours in the building. You guys have cops on the streets 24 hours a day arresting people Absolutely. for jaywalking. Absolutely. And we do right. have we, and we do have a public services center that you can right. literally go to. Where's the public service center? It's at 2222 Western Cannon Boulevard. 2222 what? Western Cannon Boulevard. Western Cannon? In Canto. In Canto, E-N-C-A-N-T-O. What? 2222 West in Canto Boulevard. So that's open 24 hours a day? It's it's open, it's got regular business hours like this. It's open, I believe, eight to four as well. I was nice to her, I didn't put her on film. She's a receptionist. She doesn't, she didn't, doesn't realize what she's doing here. But I wanna do the 10 minute handcuff challenge, Gepper. Let, let's make this worth our while. I will continue the conversation with you, that's all I can promise you, but I, I certainly will. All right, Gepper. All right, all right, all right. Okay, and I will get back to you. Have a nice day.
Thank you.